Hey there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi with more Let's Play The Wolf Among Us Blind. Last time, we made it all the way to the crooked man's door, and then I cut, then I cut the video, like a douchebag. So here we are, back at the door. Just kick the bitch in. Oh. Well, that's cool. Back that way, then. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Uh, Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Yeah, sorry. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? That's a bit disconcerting. You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead on. Yeah, just let's go. Right there, Tinny Tim. Timmy Tim. Tim Marino. Sorry. I'm done. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous. Especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. I get that. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's, it's not so bad. Not so yeah. bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Yeah. That that's a point. A lot okay. of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Agreed, but Hey Sheriff, hold up! I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Fine. Thanks. <laughs> the less feathers I rustle here, the better. Tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Mate, you got a job to I do. Am scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. What's up? Good. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, uh. but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. So, what's up? You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I think we have a lot to, uh... All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Did I accidentally cut, like, right at the end of the episode? I did, didn't I? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Good job, self. I've heard stories so about you. And everything. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Just oh, and how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. 
Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's my bad on that one. Um <clears throat> whoops. <laughs> yeah, um, whoops on that one. My apologies. It was too great a place to cut. Why would I not cut it there? Okay, as always, chapter recap. Um, all, pretty much all of us didn't send and call him to the farm. Expected. Um, we didn't remove the ribbon overall. That's cool. Uh, went to the cut above first. Okay, so I'm right about, uh, right about on par there. We all sent we all sent Toad to the uh, Toad to the farm, which, admittedly, he's kind of a problem, so that's understandable. Uh, and we chose to talk with him, so good. I'm I'm inside the majority on all of these. I'm not sure if that's good or not. I'm really not. Mm. But credits time. So, um, well. We're not gonna end this time uh, after these, because this video would be way too short if that was the case. Um, that's the problem with the blind LP. I don't know what's coming. Uh, otherwise, I've been pretty good about that um, so far, I think, this LP. I've been pretty good with, with, with the like timing, my cuts. That was also a really short episode. That's I, th I think that's part of the problem. The episode was j itself was just really short. I think there was a lot of stuff I could have done, like go to the uh, Wacky Pond first and done all that stuff. I think that I think I could have done that and padded it out a little bit. I could have just burst into the back room at the uh, cut above. I could have I, I, I could have done a, a other stuff. I feel to make it longer, but I play impulsively when I'm like playing that. I, I, I've noticed that I play very impulsively, which you kind of have to do. I I think. Um, so. Yeah, uh, there's that. The shepherd was really short, so maybe that's why I messed up the cut there. That's my bad. Sorry. But give a good, give, give a good cliffhanger. Can't doubt me. Can't argue that one. Well, is there a way to skip these? Is okay. There is. Okay, good. <laughs> we'll just skip them this time. Don't worry. We'll skip them and then we'll um, start the next chapter. Let's take a look at my book of fables, though, because I haven't shown you guys this. I've been looking at this after every chapter to see kind of what gets unlocked. About the chapter. Oh, so we've chopped his wings off at some point. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I do, I do. I already read his. <laughs> Nefarious purposes. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's funny and strength. That's what I was moving in circle. This is Well, fair enough then. He doesn't want to become part of the human world. That's fine. The crooked lair. Oh, God. <laughs> This is a really cool idea, honestly. The whole, like, uh, hideout away from the rest of the world. It's really, really cool. I'm totally gonna steal that for a Pathfinder thing, probably. Uh, six fence in a crooked house. Two things. Oh! Okay, so he killed his, his family. I didn't know his, his uh, story that much, really. Yeah, it sounds about right.
You know, I was actually really wondering about that. Because, <clears throat> like, because, like, I regenerated from friggin' Buckshot, like, earlier on in the video. And, yeah, um, he, he's still limping? That doesn't make any sense, but I guess that, I guess that, I guess that makes sense. He's just not allowed to heal because he's supposed to be hurt. So, I guess we'll do this one, Cry Wolf, now. It's, it's an awesome splash for this. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and Cry Wolf. It's my heater, if you can hear that. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Nope. <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Is this like a, just a full recap no. of the game's events? Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Yeah, it is just... <laughs> yep, there's me getting shot and being okay afterward. Well, comparatively okay afterward. Oh, God! Big B! <sighs> this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. So we really gotta watch out for Big Mary B, wait! Here. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. So, up, oh, gotta do our introduction first. So this is actually really interesting. I'm I'm the the trailer at the end of the last episode and well that and kind of the, this is the last this is the last episode the last part um, really has me intrigued by how this is gonna go because we're not supposed to be going werewolf form but I have a feeling we're going to be forced into going werewolf form uh, it's cold so yes so yeah um, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be good, though. Oh, it's gonna be good. But, we'll see. You've come a long way. A little bit, I suppose. You must be tired. I burn the Twiddle's eye with this cigarette. Is that an option I can do? And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. What's up, Cap? Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Don't know how to do that. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. Hard as it is to believe, I realize. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah, calm down. Right. Well, so Sheriff. I actually end you for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie? You and your goons tried to kill me! I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. <laughs> yeah, you are. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any <laughs> sort of danger. Bullshit! My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. And I can only offer my sincerest apologies. You didn't stop it out of the kindness of your heart. You 
You stopped it because Snow White offered up Crane. That may have appeared to you to be the case, but I assure you, it wasn't. <laughs> and I hope yeah. you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Yeah. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Yeah. Cooperation. This is it, aren't You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Really? However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. He really does have, like, really iron fist control of these guys. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. Oh, so I but can you beat could him murder up. someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions. Not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. What, me? To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh. Oh, good. Goody. What's up? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Great. Room full of villains. This can only end. to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Uh. Uh, wrestle him. Uh. 
I would, I would say fatality, but I don't think he's that bothered. This way. that thought everybody because next time we'll continue hope you guys had fun and i'll see you next time with mortals for the wolf among us blind so till then till then rank k out god two in a row <laughs>